All right, so we're just going to jump right in here where we left off with the shipoid video posted just a few days before this one on YouTube. And as the notes say there, you should definitely watch that video and you should also get the video kit that comes, comes with this video available on the Grubato site. I'm going to start editing right away. The script has already been run. Our patch editing script has already been run on a patch from an imported Grubato model. And uh, one of the enhancements that we've made to that script is the ability to add extra rows where you see there where the seam is uh, that attaches that patch to the rest of the model. And this really frees you up to do uh, more dramatic, more interesting, and more varied editing uh, of the entire form um, because the, the interface, the, the, the join between the parts you're editing and the rest of the model um, is, has a, a, a enough uh, polygons to work with so that we can keep it smooth and graceful and, and uh, keep keen off the structure of the Grubato model. I'm not going to talk about the exact script parameters here. You should definitely get the video kit to understand those better. But here I'm setting up a, a new patch, uh, dividing its seam rows. And uh, I will note that the script creates what we call the um, patch vertex map, and it also creates the patch not vertex map. Uh, sort of the inverse of it, and both of them are valuable when it comes time to uh, edit this stuff. So as you can see, I'm just using simple linear falloffs combined with the uh, vertex map that was created by the script, and that's what allows for this kind of editing. It's much more sophisticated than just having a selection or even a selection where you've uh, created a map and uh, softened the boundaries. This is very precise, and it makes, uh, it makes modeling a lot like sculpting, but again, with real precision and the ability to edit and tweak and do all that in a very non-destructive, not only non-destructive, but kind of a, a geometry enhancing way. So um, that's, that's really what I'd like to, to have you focus on here, not the nuts and bolts, so that's covered in the documents. Um, but just, just, just notice how we've gone from a very simple form uh, with just a few seams and a few patches and we've already started to form uh, something uh, very interesting and uh, quite different than what we started off with. And uh, this is just one of, a, of you know, an endless number of possibilities that you might uh, be able to get out of that simple setup. Um, you can do dramatic things. You can do very subtle little tweaks to your form. So altogether, when you uh, factor in the ease and freedom that you have in creating a simple uh, primitive and Boolean constructs in Grubato, with this kind of elegant, sophisticated uh, editing of those forms in a, in a way that's intelligent and uh, respects and keys off of those forms, it's an extraordinarily powerful combination. Uh, I tweaked some edge weights there, some uh, Pixar subdivision ed edge weights, and here you see some Moto uh, preview renders. And you can do all this right now just to grab that the video kit with the scripts, and we're going to have some new, very exciting additions to this available in a lab, what we call a lab version of Roboto which will be made available to all of you uh, Grobato owners very soon. All right, thanks.